Good morning, everyone. I'm Nikki Stanzione, and this is New Mexico style. And if you didn't get blown away, then you're there to hear the story, the big story of the day, the weather. And winds are already gusting. Temperatures are already dropping. Let's go straight to Kristen. She's at the weather wall. Good morning. Yeah, when the big story today, of course, this is going to be the first pack of this, this system that's going to pack several punches. We're going to get the cold later on and then the snow. But when big time today, highway mornings in effect for the metro area, Albuquerque into Santa Fe, down to Socorro and Carrizozo. Wind mornings, we're going to be looking at 65 to even 75 mile per hour gusts later on late in the day, this afternoon and this evening. Then, of course, areas in the lighter yellow here under wind advisories, so winds will be gusting to 50, 55 miles an hour. So here's how it's going to play out today. As we head through the rest of the morning, winds are going to steadily increase, but really over the next three to four hours, that's when they're going to start to climb to those dangerous levels. 40, 45 mile per hour winds for the morning, then 50 to 55 mile per hour winds once we get through the lunch hour. And then when you head home from work uh, this evening right after sunset, uh, winds peaking out, gusting to 65 to 75 miles an hour at times, and the winds are going to stay up to the midnight hour. Starting to come down a little bit, won't be as dangerous tomorrow morning, but we're still going to be looking at blustery conditions along with the cold. And once you get to wind speeds of this nature, that's when we're going to be looking at damage. We could be looking at power outages in Albuquerque. The strongest winds, of course, coming through the mouths of the canyons and also down the foothills and the heights. So uh, we could be looking at power outages if, if you're going to be driving north or south, uh, certainly blowing the cars off of the roads there too. Uh, that crosswind coming out of the east, that could be dangerous for you. And then the holiday decorations, you're going to want to tie those down. 46 degrees right now. Winds sustain now at 30 miles an hour. You can see the camera already shaking out there, making it feel a lot colder. We're already seeing those gusts up near 40 right now. And again, it's just going to get worse as we head through the day. The worst of the wind west of the central mountain chain, again, down in the metro area. 37 degrees is what it feels like. 26 in Santa Fe. Feels like it's in the teens and 20s up to the north. So extreme wind today. That cold blast moving in. So we're going to have the cold moving in steadily. We'll top out in the low 50s right around lunchtime, but by 5 o'clock, we're already going to be falling off into the 40s and with the wind it's going to feel even colder and of course the cold air continues to move in. It's going to stay put as we head into the weekend. So a major storm system rolling in late tomorrow. We'll be looking at a little snow, rain and snow for the northern northwestern part of the state, snow up in the mountains and then for the metro area Saturday night, Friday night into Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. We're going to be looking at the the potential for some snow out of the system because we had this one system coming through tomorrow and we could have another one right on its heels as we head into the weekend. So let's go ahead and take you region by region and show you what you can expect here as we head through the day and the next week. So for the Four Corners area, we're going to be looking at temperatures today in the 30s with scattered rain and snow, a mix this afternoon, the snow in the forecast Friday, Saturday and Sunday up in the northwestern part of the state. Partly cloudy skies, a mix again of rain and snow in the lower terrain, mountain snow, and then temperature staying in the 30s. So we'll be looking at snow going into the weekend. Down in the south and west, uh, here, partly cloudy, a breezy day. Could see a little rain later on today. Tonight, Silver City, the rain mixing in with some snow. And then as that colder air moves in, we'll be talking scattered snow showers, maybe having a hard time sticking during the day. Not in the mountains, of course, all snow there. But then by Sunday, 37 the high. So it's going to get a lot colder. And we can see that snow linger into that part of the weekend as well. South and east, a mix of sun and clouds, and then watching for even some scattered snow Friday and Saturday, and temperatures take a dive. Only in the low 40s this weekend. North and east, we may see a little light snow early today, but the better chances are going to be as we go into tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow night into Saturday, we could be looking at heavy snow, northeast, east, central plains there, and uh, that could certainly cause some issues on the roads. The mountains out of this whole system, we could be looking at a foot or more as we go into the weekend. So could start to see some snow tonight, then tomorrow on and off and then it gets heavier as we head into the weekend sticking around perhaps into Monday Santa Fe looking at some snow as well. East Mountains today the big story the wind highs in the 40s gusting to 60 miles an hour and then of course for the metro area we're going to be looking at the wind here too and then watching for snow Friday night Saturday perhaps into Sunday. Thanks, Kristen. And the year is officially coming to an end, so we want to know what captivated the country in 2011. Well, Ask.com trend expert Robbie Washenfelder reveals the year's most asked questions and the top 10 predictions for 2012. Plus, we'll ask him what are Albuquerqueans asking this year. Good morning to you, Robbie. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. I can't believe the year is already coming to an end. And I've got to ask you first, what do people really want to know the most about in 2011? 
Oh, I know. I mean, last 12 months and, and just uh, stunned with like, you know, how many things have been going on. But the number one top trending question that we've been seeing this year, obviously celebrities, right? Those are those are capturing mm -hmm. the people's uh, people's attention the most. It's Kim. People. Was Kim Kardashian's wedding real or was it fake? That mm -hmm. top trending. Interesting that that's one of the most popular questions. I mean, you, you have to wonder what's going on and what's maybe wrong with our nation when we're asking more questions about Kim Kardashian's <laughs> wedding than we are about what's happening in our world that's actually affecting us personally. This is an interesting question I wanted to ask you because, you know, you get asked so much. Are you ever stumped? Does Ask.com ever get stumped? Well, of course. I mean, people ask, uh, you know, people ask everything from, like, you know, is there a God to, um, you know, to why, why is the sky blue? Some of the mm -hmm. questions we can't, but uh, we're di trying our best, and 60 million users are coming to us regularly, so they you know, did a good job. I, at least we hope so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, what were the most, I mean, aside from Kim, of course, <laughs> what were the most searched news items that we've been seeing? Yeah, well, luckily there are a lot of, you know, people that are interested in the real things that matter in the <laughs> world, and, you know, one the top things that people were wondering see was the earthquake in Japan, you know, um, how big was it and impacting us, you know, is there, is there, is there a tsunami on the, because people were really concerned with the nuclear power, you know, in, in under duress there. And, but, uh, but also people are, um, have been wondering uh, all this year about the, you know, the, about the, you know what, Robbie, Romney, Robbie, you know, I don't, yeah. want to, I don't mean to interrupt you, but we are having some audio issues, so we are going to have to cut out a little early, but what I want to do is I want to remind all of our viewers that they can go to Ask.com for all the information on all of the last-minute predictions for the year's end, as well as all the things that people have been talking about for 2011. Thank you so much for being with us. Sorry about that, guys. You know, every so often there's a technical difficulty when you're doing a satellite. Meanwhile, let me mention this. Today is the 23rd anniversary of World AIDS Day. Now, it is a day of awareness and remembrance for those who have lost their lives to this awful disease. But it is also a day that we highlight scientific advances in the effort to save lives. Fox News correspondent Craig Boswell has the story. Being HIV, it's not a death sentence. Thanksgiving in Boston. The stigma uh, has changed a lot. It's still not completely gone. Hundreds of HIV positive people are gathering to celebrate life. This is family. We love each other. We support each other. We uplift each other. So this is a time for all of us to come together as a huge family. They're hardly alone. The United Nations estimates 34 million people have HIV worldwide. 1.2 million of them are in the U.S. Despite the staggering statistic, there is some hope. About 2.7 million new infections happen every year. The good news is, in a way, that this number actually has been on the decrease in the world in general over the past few years. The American Foundation for AIDS Research helps fund the daunting search for a cure and says scientists are confident they'll find one. I think the scientific community is really feeling quite optimistic at this point in time that we are in our lifetime going to be able to find a cure for HIV. There have been many medical advances since the virus was discovered 30 years ago and many are helping HIV patients live longer, healthier lives. You can live with the virus and I've known so many people that had it way before me who've had it like 30 years, 25 years and they're still living. We can live a wonderful, happy life thrive. We're just like everybody else. President Obama delivers his first major speech on AIDS later today. He'll be joined by George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, along with musicians Alicia Keys and Bono. At the White House, Craig Boswell, Fox News. Well, the UN estimates that there were 1.8 million AIDS-related deaths worldwide just last year. And here in New Mexico, AIDS services say there are 3,300 people who are HIV positive. These numbers have not dramatically increased in the last 10 years, but they are still on the rise, specifically with minorities. And now Kristen has joined me back on the couch. Thank you for that weather update. I don't think I like it very it's much, crazy. but we needed it. Hey, 
Hairspray, that's not going to do anything today. No. You need like cement all there. <laughs> not even the super extra hold. And the lights. I'm really worried about all the Christmas decorations. This I know. Could get, you know, airborne with winds like that. When so, you said oh, 70 God. mile per hour gusts in Albuquerque tonight? 70, 75. That's oh hurricane force. Yeah, I know. I've been in a hurricane, as you know. I don't like it. Okay, so we'll keep our fingers crossed, and of course, you'll keep us updated through the hour. In the meantime, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. A big chain store may be bringing its call center right here to Albuquerque, and what's so great about this is it could bring a lot of jobs with it. Lowe's Home Improvement may be relocating its customer call center near Jefferson and Osuna early next year, and that could mean at least 200 new jobs for New Mexicans, which is fantastic. A Lowe's spokesperson confirms the company is interested in Albuquerque, but wouldn't really reveal Reveal any other details since negotiations are still going on. But we'll see. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, that's right? fantastic news there. Yeah. Uh, something not making the state look good, however, this morning. A financial news site, one site, is calling New Mexico the 10th worst run state in the nation. 24 7 Wall Street says while our unemployment rate is relatively low, our poverty rate is the second highest in the country. Nearly 20% of New Mexicans lack health insurance, and crime is also one of our downfalls, according to this website. It says we have the highest rate of violent crime in the country. What is that all about? I mean, honestly, I love living here, and when I hear things mm -hmm. like that, it makes me upset. That's yeah. why, you know. That's why the cops are always, you know, working so hard and having all these issues that they have to deal with. It's not fair. It's really not fair. I'll tell you what. I don't. I don't see it. Fortunately, but but it's obviously happening. So let's let's make that stop. Can yeah. we do it? Can let's we make it? Can we make a plea? <laughs> can we make a plea? Okay. I have to tell you guys something really funny. This is crazy. Okay. I don't know if you read the Albuquerque Journal this morning. This is the front page story. You ready? Okay, front page. Let me, shall I read the headline? Yeah, read it. School sued after boys burp led to trouble. I'm Suing not even kidding. Over a burp. Yeah, listen to this. I'm not even kidding. Uh, this is real. It's, it's in print. A seventh grade Cleveland middle school boy was handcuffed and arrested, and his crime, yes, it's true. Burping. I'm not kidding. Apparently, he was burping during phys ed class. This is so ridiculous. The incident actually happened last May, and he was transported to the juvenile detention center without his parents being notified. But now, apparently, he got into trouble last month when he was forced to strip down to his skivvies while five adults watched. I'm, I mean, this is getting worse by the second. He was accused of selling pot to another student, but no charges were ever filed. I mean, there is probably so much more to the story. There's got to be more uh, to the story. <laughs> I mean, this all seems very extreme to me. Right. Uh, uh. I don't know. I mean, it obviously, it sounds extreme. If there's illegal just, drugs just involved, right. illegal drugs. Okay, clearly, I get it. There's some problems with that, but having a belch. <laughs> I don't right. Know. Yeah, it makes you think that maybe there were other issues that they've had before, and then the burp just. Put them over the edge, and we're like, all right, this guy's got to get him out of here. I don't know. So we'll have to, we'll have to do some investigating and find Some, out the deal. But suing over burping does sound very extreme. Somebody <laughs> just tuned in and heard Kristen say, if a boy belching put him over the edge, they would probably just be like, what is going on in this show? But here's right. the thing. We would like to get you guys involved in the things we talk about. We want to know what you think. Do you think this is extreme that somebody would get arrested for burping? I would think you would want to know and voice in, right? Give us your opinions. You can send your comments to facebook.com slash New Mexico style, or you can always email us at casa.com. And Kristen and I read a lot of those emails personally. Mm -hmm. So let us know, and then we'll reveal some of your feedback. Yeah, sound off on this. We want to hear your remarks. So. Yeah. All right. Nuts. Today, December 1st, Christmas officially 25 days away. That. It's going to go by super fast. Super fast. And we're going to get you in the holiday spirit if you aren't already. The annual Nob Hill Shop and Stroll is tonight. Yeah, don't blow away, Dorothy. For one night, Central Avenue is closed down in the Knob Hill area, so this way shoppers and the diners can actually enjoy a night out in the town, and it mm -hmm. is going to be really actually a lot of fun. Just bundle up. A lot of fun. Bundle up and get ready for the wind, yeah. and hang on to those decorations and maybe your hat. This is, of course, a fun way to get out and support local businesses, which is what we want to do. Absolutely. I mean, you can get out there. You can go to all the different stores, all the different, you know, the vendors and the businesses, like you said, are going to be having great deals, and they'll be cocktails and hors d'oeuvres and all kinds of great food. You know, there's a lot of places in Knob Hill. A lot of times we get so caught up in our daily life, we don't have time to sample all the goods of our town, and this is a great way to do it. And good news here, the parking what? is free. Yay! So, uh, no issues there. Honestly, that's the only thing that <laughs> ever holds me back from going to Knob Hill. I'm not even kidding. That When I say okay, I want to go to Knob Hill, the only thing is, well, I hope I find parking. Or So that's great. Free parking is fabulous. Mm -hmm. And this is even better. While you're strolling, you don't want to miss this. A flash mob, yes, 
two of them. 7.30 p.m. is one of them. 8.30 p.m. will be the other. And the performances will be from Iron Bread Kids Dance Crew. Cool. That's going. Yeah, isn't that cool? They'll take place outside of Etiquette Boutique. You've had, you've seen Kathleen over mm -hmm. from Etiquette. She's great people. Great store. They're located on the northeast corner of Amherst and Central, one block west of Carlisle. And here's a video of the Iron Bread Kids. This is them doing some rehearsing for one of their uh, probably competitions or dance things. Aren't they awesome? They are. And as you can see right there, they actually specialize in hip-hop and break dance. Uh-huh. And they've been together for a while, since 2004, and they perform in and throughout the Albuquerque area. So, good yes. stuff. Isn't that cool? I believe the wind is blowing away. That would be <laughs> fun to see. I know. I love Flash Mobs. I love that. You know, we just talked to Howie Mandel last week about the mm -hmm. new show Mobbed, and uh, this is our very own Albuquerque Flash Mob. It's so cool, huh? Very cool. So now, what's going to be the deal? I mean, in all honesty, I mean, I've done the weather. I know when it's windy. There's certain rules. What would you recommend as far as people going to the shop and store or anywhere for that matter tonight as far as the way they should dress and, and it, what they should have with them? Any suggestions? Temperatures are going to be falling. I mean, by that point, we'll be in the low 40s and even falling into the 30s. But with the winds blowing that strong, it's mm -hmm. going to feel like it's in the 20s and the teens. Oh. So you're definitely going to want to bundle up and, and all of that good stuff. But you're just going to want to be careful out on the roads and, and around any loose objects that could go flying because yeah. we're going to have such strong winds. I mean, honestly, this could be a life-threatening situation when you get to winds up near 75 miles an hour. And, mm -hmm. and you can see it's already really bad out there, and we haven't even gotten to the dangerous part yet. East wind Gosh. sustained at 30. Uh, cold front moving in, of course, the wind and the extreme cold. We could see a little bit of a mix of rain and snow out west today and then change over to all snow tonight. But the big snow won't move in until that system out of Arizona moves over New Mexico. So we'll start to see expanding coverage tomorrow from west to east and then by tomorrow night going into Saturday. That's when we could be watching for snow, even in Albuquerque. Gosh. So uh, it could yet. be a big deal for us. This is a huge winter storm. <laughs> Highs today, God. 40s and 50s. Don't let that fool you. That will be early on. So this afternoon, typically during the warm part, it's actually going to be colder than 50 degrees. And then tomorrow, 30s. We'll be in the 30s all weekend. And then the wind starts to die down tomorrow. And then again, we're watching for that snow. And I was looking at another forecast model, and it looks like maybe even a better shot at snow Saturday night into Sunday. Really? So, so tomorrow, for those people like myself going out to Hard Rock for the Best of City show, mm -hmm. uh, City show, Best of City party, what, what do you think? It could be messy weather. I really? mean, it could so be, get on the road it could be early? like a mix of rain and snow. You're definitely going to want to, yeah, take your time on the roads. Okay, good advice. And coming up on New Mexico Style, change your career, change your life. We'll tell you how. We're behind the scenes of the Nutcracker Ballet. And we'll tell you where to find home appliances nice and cheap.